Describe a time that something changed. Describe something that changed your life in good way. Yes, please. Uh, especially, I'm talking about my business journey. A uh, couple of year, I will start. I was start my business as well. Uh, I will. Uh, I start my business. A uh, close business, and. Uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, I when I start my business it's I, I have very difficulties <coughs> when I started when I started this business I have uh, very difficulties I had I had very difficulties but uh, I don't know about how to can say uh, how to can sell and how to can purchase so I discuss with my uh, cousin she also runs same business as well and uh, she gave me uh, some tricks and she tips. She gave me. She gave me some tricks and tips. And I follow same tips. So I connect a website for uh, theras.com. It's very be beneficial for beginner. And uh, uh, now I am a successful. So uh, that time I'll change my life. And I accomplish my goal. And uh, now I'm a successful lady. So I prefer to all okay. my family and okay. friends. So Thank connect these you. website. Good. Thank you so much. Overall good. But you are just, I mean, you don't care about tenses. Your topic was all past and you are speaking all present. Okay. So for you, learn three tenses. Present indefinite, past indefinite and future indefinite. And then you see topic is describe a time that something changed in your life. Something changed. Past tense. Past tense means second form. Okay. All right. Let's go on. Topic number seven. Describe an interesting person that you have not met, but you would like to know more about. Uh, today, I would like to talk about uh, the pri uh, previous Prime Minister of Pakistan, uh, uh, of uh, Imran Khan. Uh, he is very eminent, not only uh, in Pakistan, but also all over the world. Uh, he did a lot of uh, uh, work for our country. He uh, makes uh, skyscrapers uh, buildings. Uh, in Pakistan and uh, he's uh, he's very gregarious person uh, uh, I would like to uh, meet him in uh, my in my life and uh, uh, he uh, he also uh, uh, make uh, uh, make a project of uh, orange line and uh, it's very beneficial for those uh, who uh, 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 go outside and uh, who, who go for far uh, from their homes uh, and it also beneficials for students also and uh, uh, he helped the poor peoples a lot and he did okay <laughs> okay so <laughs> let's go on uh, overall it's fine all you need is practice number one Number two, connectivity of ideas. We call it compound sentences. So try to make compound sentences. There are issues with fluency. So as you practice, you will become fluent. Okay? Good job. Keep it up. Describe a successful business person you know. Yes, please. I have been interested in watching different food related, uh, watching or uh, reading different food related columns or documents in which uh, tells about food innovation and uh, related food products. Uh, since I found uh, Sir Kesar Raza, he is a uh, owner of an amateur industry. He is doing very well in food quality. He is doing very well. He is doing very well in uh, food quality and safety. Uh, I also saw him in different seminars and uh, food related campaigns. He doing very well. Uh, I also admire his objectives related to their uh, industry, how they work. He started from a little room or, or a small uh, business, you can say. Uh, then they you now expand in worldwide. Also in Pakistan, there are different chains. Also, they uh, they have dairy. You now they are starting their dairy. They all are uh, inspired me very well uh, what he is doing now and uh, carry on carry on carry on uh, the, the way their objectives uh, their, their company obje objectives and how they work to okay. achieve the objectives so the first thing is sentence structure second you need to expand on your ideas don't talk about same thing time and again and at the moment you're using mainly simple sentences Try to use compound sentences. And then sometimes you're missing helping verb. You're saying he done. He done is wrong. He has done. Okay? These type of mistakes. Okay, let's go on. 11. 
describe an area of science that you are interested in. I find nearly all the areas of the science like uh, biology, chemistry and physics very interesting but the one that really Can inspires speak louder, me please? is astronomy. My interest originated since my childhood. Um, I remember there was a presentation uh, about stars in my school. Uh, I came to learn all the names of the planets and stars very soon than anyone. My fascination kept growing with age. And I love to watch videos on space by a special astronomers. And I love looking at the stars and planets because I think they are like a representation of nature in the sky. And uh, OK. If you take a long pause, examiner will interrupt you and then move on to next part. So you need to elaborate. And you know, uh, I mean, don't be in a hurry. The first thing is look at one point, elaborate as much as possible. Because if you miss any point, there is no penalty. For example, if you only discuss two points out of three or four, there is no problem. So elaborate each point in detail. And uh, one more thing, you should, all of you should practice. You need to record your cue cards. When you are recording, there are seconds going on. So you can see, okay, now 47, 48, 49. Build your stamina for one and a half minute answer. Okay? Good. All right. So let's go on. Describe a drawing or painting that you like. Um, well, I uh, saw this painting at my home and uh, my elder brother actually had the good skills in painting and uh, he uh, uh, wanted to give me a good lesson and he painted for myself because I'm, I, I'm a youngest member of my family and I was so naughty person. So uh, when I had the first look at this painting, this painting uh, was giving me a good uh, lesson. And this painting seemed that a woman who had the two, two kids, one kid uh, was a very naughty, whereas the second one was uh, kept, always kept a very calm position. So afterwards, I learned a lesson. And uh, uh, whenever my mother was uh, busy in uh, doing the different uh, uh, household chores, so I always tried to uh, give, him, uh, give her a good support and uh, help her a lot. One minute, 52 seconds. So I will try to You should to speak, speak more. more. Yeah. Okay. okay you understand sir. now your common problem is you are not speaking for one minute. That is what we call talk time in cue card. So you need to meet the talk time. Okay. And if I'm not stopping you, it means one minute is not over. Right. And in actual exam, examiner can stop you anytime after one minute. And even if your answer is incomplete, it doesn't matter. It's all good. Right. But overall, it's good. Keep it up.